Hi. This video looks at Soft Bell, a synth tailored to make gentle bell-like sounds. We have a small number of global controls up here, and then individually controlled harmonics down below. So let's have a listen to the default sound. It's very mellow and gentle because it's only using one harmonic, so it's fairly close to a sine wave. Let's look at some of the controls here. First, we have this impulse dial. This gives an initial pulse to the harmonic. Next, we have this noise dial. This produces a sustained ringing tone. Now, you can hear the note doesn't die away completely. It settles into a sustained sound. If we take away the initial impulse, we hear that this sound has a softer beginning. We still hear the notes dying away slightly because this envelope is controlled by the global dials up here. If you pull the sustain level up to 100%, our harmonic will ring on at full volume forever. For the noise source and the audio source, which we'll get to later, we can control how tuned or untuned the resonance is. So if we pull the tonality down, we get a thick, more breathy sound. But that's just one harmonic. We can add more than that and have different parameters for each of them. So for this second harmonic, let's have it with no initial impulse and make it a bit more breathy and untuned. And now let's add a higher harmonic. We don't have to specify our harmonics in order. We can spread them out however we like. So let's use the fourth harmonic. That's a nice pling sound, but I want it to sound really simple and pure. So we're gonna make it super tonal. Currently, all of our harmonics follow the same global envelope in the same way. Instead, we can choose how much each harmonic is affected by this envelope using this damping control here. For example, let's reduce the damping on this highest harmonic here, making it more prominent and ring on for longer. This control also changes how velocity sensitive each harmonic is, so you get subtly different tones from different velocities. By setting different parameters on different harmonics, we can get a range of sounds from something vaguely like a hang drum to something more like a tuned chime. Similar to hammer and chord, you can also use this effect to resonate incoming audio. So we'll start with our input sound. Let's make that a child's track of the other one, so the audio is now being rooted through soft bell. If we look at these controls here, each harmonic has a dial for input audio. Let's hear what this sounds like by turning down all the impulse and noise dials. And we also need to turn down the dry dial so that none of the original sound is getting through. The current setting of the tonality dials means the resonators are very narrow. We'll hear it a bit more if we make the tonality a bit looser. This isn't just a subtractive resonator. Each harmonic works as half resonator, half ring modulator. So instead of a clean sound, we end up with a bunch of interesting inharmonic resonances too. The further you turn down tonality, the more obvious this is. There are a few presets that should come pre-installed with the synth, so do check those out. The description below has links for how to install effects, and I'm making videos for my other ones as well. So, this is Soft Bell. I hope you have fun with it.